Welcome back all. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually uncompress things and how to restore your backed up files. Before I do so, I owe you an explanation from the last tutorial that I got entangled with. Well, here it is. Basically, the quotation marks were a problem because then the exclamation mark, I knew that it was interpreting it as a as some sort of a command or something of a kind like not because it generally represents not and that's why it said like it does not recognize the command or something that's why I got that error you see if I go ahead and type in quotation marks there you go bash event not found because of the exclamation mark and if I go ahead and remove the exclamation the remove the quotation marks like this and press enter you see, I'm going to append it, append the file to the last line, and if I type in the escape character here, and if I press enter, still I am going to get exactly the same thing without any problems of whatsoever. I can keep on doing this uh, till the end, till I run out of disk space, but I wouldn't want to bore you to death, so let's go ahead and jump into the subject at hand. Today, as I said, we're going to be dealing with unpacking file, with uh, unpacking the files that we've actually backed up, but let me just see besides echo, I'm sure I have it here somewhere, so I don't have to type the whole command in again. Uh, let's, there we go. These are the two commands that I want to use, and you see I have used the commands that we've learned previously in order to provide myself with such an output. I'm sure you're familiar with them by now. The line that we should be paying attention at is this last line. New, I've left the first line deliberately so that we can do a bit of a comparison. This command we will use to actually extract and unpack everything from this file into something else. While we use this command, oops, 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 oh, it's running away. The terminal lines are running away. While we use this command in order to package this the contents of this file into this file anyway here down below you have X which stands for pull it out of tar uh, V for Bose P preserve preserve permissions as before Z treat it as a G zip up to here as well except up here it will compress it and down here it will uncompress it F for file and then we pass in the file name and right next to the file name we're gonna add another argument which will be uh, minus sign capital C and then a path to where we actually want to extract these things. Now for myself I have created a folder it's called sheep so I have a folder called sheep right here. I could have named this folder anything I wanted to. Uh, originally I named it recovery or something of a kind, but then the name didn't really resonate, you know, it didn't really ha it didn't ha it didn't feel right. So I renamed it to sheep. Anyway, we are going to extract it, but before we do, before we do, suppose that you have a lot of these backup files here. Some of them you made, some of them you didn't, some of them were made by the system, some of them were made by some other person out there and you are required to extra to restore a backup for a certain system but you I mean you can read the names or some you can read the names of these backup files but you're still uncertain as to what is contained within how do you suppose you would have a look inside without actually performing the extraction itself well let's consult with the man pages that's always the number one source of these things and I could have shown you that straight away but I want to show you one more thing in the man pages uh, that you can use it in a similar fashion like VIM you can just press semicolon and then type in commands here for example you can type in search so slash and then what shall we search for well you shouldn't type in search but this is how you would conduct a search what shall we type for? Let's type in list. Excellent. So this is exactly what we have been looking for. The second output of the second find of list is what we need. Under examples, you have tar space dash tvf archive dot tar 
what does it say? What does this do? What does this do? It says list all files in archive.tar verbosely. Now we can remove the verbose output here as well, but I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and clear, type in tar space dash uh, tv f backup press enter and they're gonna get listed so you're gonna get the permissions here as well but I don't know sometimes most of the time I would say that I you don't need to see the permissions here to figure out what is in the file and the dates it is far more useful well dates maybe but it is far more useful to actually have a look at the contents of the folder at the contents of the tarball the reason why I say dates maybe it's because most of the backups when they are made uh, the dates the exact date, the exact time when the backup was made can usually be seen in the name of the backup straight away. That's how they are usually made. I will show you this as we progress through this chapter and as I show you the cron jobs and the automation and creating a bash script for an automated task and so on and so forth. But for the time being, just know that it is so. Let's go ahead and clear the screen and let's remove the verbose output because we don't want to see all of that. We just want to get a general overview of what is contained in this particular tarball. Press enter and there you go. This is a this is a much cleaner output. Here we can actually see the folders. Uh, here we can see the files and we can generally conclude what this is. Is this what we need or not? But you cannot see pretty much anything else besides the folders, files and stuff like that the one the things that you see in front of yourself could basically list up to the top but the output is the same you just have the paths here and that's it okay so let's go ahead and clear the screen once again let us call the let's call my file now let's try to actually unpack some of these uh, this particular tarball we will unpack this tarball and extract it into the folder sheep I encourage you to make your own folder, just type in MK dear and then name it Yeah, name it basically name the folder. Whatever you want. Whatever. Excellent. So just type in a name here and make a folder. That's it. Just press enter. It's gonna get cre it will be created. I have shown this in the previous tutorials as well. That's why I'm not dwelling on the MK dear as much now, in case you skipped a few. So, type in tar space uh, minus xv pz f space backup space dash, uh, sorry, dash c, capital C, and we're going to put it into sheep. Press enter. There we go. It's doing it. It's doing it. It's done. Let's go into uh, sheep ls. There you go, we have a home directory. Let's go into home. Let's do ls. There you go, we have random guy. Let's go into random guy. ls. There you go, we have all of the all of these files preserved. This entire structure remains as it is. It is all there. Nothing has been left out. Even if I do ls-a you will see that all of these other things have been preserved as well. So they are all there. They have all been saved. This is a full backup of that particular folder of that particular of those particular files. Anyway, I hope that it is clear. In case it is not, the discussions are always open to you. I do check them. I do look at them. And I do try to answer all of your questions with as much clarity as I can. So feel free to ask if you do not understand something or if you fail to understand something. No shame there. Just ask away and I'll be more than happy to help you all out as much as I can. Now I bid you all farewell and until next time.